All right, guys, we're back here at Hammer Fab, working on our 66 GMC truck inner fender engine bay compartment. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell so that you can be notified when we post a new video. Last time we left off uh, getting these front two panels fit and we came to find out that this one did not fit as nice as we wanted it to. The pattern was a little bit off. So what we're gonna do is remake this one. We're gonna adjust this one real quick and use it as the pattern and make this one real quick, cut it out, put it in there. And then we're gonna do some bead rolling on these guys. So right now I've just kind of sketched a general idea of what I want it to look like on there, but we need to go back and refine that shape make a pattern off of the, the side that we like, flip it over, transfer it to the other side so that they match, and then we'll bead roll those in there um, with our Bailey bead roller to make it uh, kind of match the firewall. And then we'll move on to these outer panels here. They're a little bit more complicated, but I do have a pattern kind of started here. Right, okay. Uh, huh? What? What's up and down? We're gonna bead roll this, so we're gonna joggle. We're gonna make a step around here. Is this gonna be popping up? This is gonna pop out like a muscle. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna go down. When they, I think when they come out, they look kind of like muscles, like a six pack. You know, like oh, uh, firewall. It's like uh, uh, when they go inward, they look a little more classic, a little more. I get you. Okay, let's go bead roll these guys. Okay, now here's what we're doing here. Okay, these are these are our tipping dies that we sell. You can get these at hammerfab.com. Now, these are similar to maybe one you've seen out there, but ours work with a lot of standard bead rollers that have a three quarter inch shank and that normally have one inch thick dies. So they work great on this uh, Bailey bead roller, but they'll also work on other bead rollers. So. This is the lower die that you can get with them if you just want to do the tipping die. So you put this one on the bottom and this one on the top. But if you wanted to do a step joggle or an offset, like we're getting ready to do on these panels, you need two of the tipping dies, two of the upper dies. So we're gonna use both of those. Nice thing about this tool here is it's got the quick release upper. So once you get your tension set, you just leave it and you don't have to keep unwinding it. You just crank that up and you're good to go and then this here makes this adjustable so we're gonna want that so that's nice because depending on how your panel is you can make that do whatever you want um, so because we want this to go down we need this to be on the inside like of that. You usually want most of your work out here so it's not spinning through the throat unless you really need to. Now anytime you have a bend in the panel like that, you have to have a deep throat in order for it to swing through there, otherwise you won't get it through there. So probably wouldn't be able to do this through a bead roller with a, a real small throat. That's why I got this one, because you can do more stuff with it. Okay, now once you get that depth set where you want, you lock that down so that can't move. Now we're gonna set our, our depth up and down. And you can control the speed here. You can make it move fast or really super slow. Like super slow. And that's all in your foot pedal? No, that's all right here. Oh. So you adjust it right here, and then however much, like see, I'm floored, and then as I adjust it here, that's full speed, but then I'm still floored, and as I crank this dial down, that's full speed. So I can, even though that's full speed, I can still let up even slower. So the pedal is a rheostat, and this is a rheostat. Infinitely adjustable. That's some nice precision right there. Yeah. So it's kind of like using a TIG welder. You set, you know, on a TIG welder, you set the amperage, and then you still got control on the pedal. So 
so it's the same kind of concept. All right, here we go. So we're gonna follow the upper die right on top of our marker line. That's not tight enough, so see how it uh, made a little depression going up? So we wanna try and do this in one hit if we can. So that's probably deep enough. And see, it because the they're offset, it wants to tend to crank the panel up. So you need to fight that panel and keep it level. Whoops, I'm going the wrong direction. So you can reverse the direction real easy. Keep it level. And on this straight line, you want to stay nice and steady. And then slow down in the corner. See, that's all in my pedal right now. So I stopped because I was in a tough spot. Now I'm repositioned, now I can ease into it. On the corners, you, you can go real slow and make a real nice corner right there. See how you can just creep? So you don't end up with a uh, stop sign shaped corner. All right, straight line. See, now I'm, I'm kind of hitting the throat on the machine, so I have to keep it at an angle, but that's okay. It's still going to turn out okay. slow down on the corner all right straight line slow down on the corner one that's perfect that's that's exactly what we want Perfect. Boom. That's what I like to do. One hit and you're done. So nice thing I like, one of the reasons I use aluminum when bead rolling is because it's a little bit more forgiving in regards to oil cans and stuff like that, you know, causing a distortion. It absorbs some of that distortion where, I mean, we could probably spend a little bit of time planishing some of that out, but it really doesn't need much at all. It's pretty much good to go. I mean, we will spend a little bit of time on it because powder coating won't hide that. So when you're powder coating stuff, you don't get the opportunity to body work it. So your metal work has to be really nice. Powder coating might hide 80 grit DA scratches, but it won't hide might hide 50 grit scratches but it definitely won't hide 36 grit scratches
So these, these uh, they're all taped up right now, but these angular cut, um, we also have round cut ones, but these are laser cut steel tabs that get welded to the to the roll cage here and they just they provide a really unique look kind of race car aggressive mechanical look to your engine bay you could also weld them to like a roll cage and mount uh, your plexiglass or uh, acrylic windows to them if you got a race car um, they just look really cool and, and provide evenly spaced holes that you can weld and configure in different ways so anyways we have those available at hammerfab.com on our website they're called strip tabs we've got the inner fenders dialed in and clean coated in place and bead rolled the big panels and we got the grommets installed on the lower end so those are ready to accept a bracket and then we got this driver's side external panel fitting and we got uh, initial bead roll shape uh, laid out on there Tomorrow, we're working on the boat. Better watch that one too, it's gonna be fun.